You join me here today, we're at a brand new embryo water in the heart of the Cumberland Valley called Gordon and Iris Lake. We're on Gordon's Lake, we've had five bites this session, we've had just about every weather condition possible, but one thing we haven't had is any problems from the crayfish that this lake is known for, and that is all because of a few minor tweaks in my approach. Now, bait-wise, I've kept things super simple, literally just hemp and maize, which I've actually prepared myself. It may sound a bit daunting, but it's actually very simple. It's all in the prep. Soak the hemp and maize for 48 hours, and then boil it up for 30 minutes. It's a real cheap alternative to boilies, which, as we know, are expensive, and the crayfish absolutely love them. By topping up the spot consistently with my hemp and maize, I can ensure that I've always got food around my area, even if the crayfish are nibbling around and nicking a bit of my bait. I've chosen to fish on the silt rather any harder gravelly areas. You know, the crayfish find it a lot more difficult to operate on the silt. And because of that, I've made a few slight changes to my rig as well. Now I've gone for a slightly longer hook than what I'd normally fish because of the spot that I'm fishing on. As I mentioned, I want to be fishing in the silt or silk weed rather than the gravel. So a 10 to 12 inch hook link of IQ2 in 15 pound is gonna nestle down and kick away lovely my critty balance pop-up. Now I want to steer away from things like tungsten, so tungsten tubing, tungsten hook link materials, tungsten anti-tangle sleeve, and tungsten for counterbalance as well. I don't know why, but crayfish absolutely love tungsten. So if I've got any of them components on my rig, they are gonna absolutely hammer it and make my rig less efficient than what it was when I put it out. Now, as we've seen in a lot of the underwater footage, it's extremely important that our rig kicks away on the cast, we don't get any tangles, it resets if any carp were to come along and reject the rig, but more importantly in this scenario, if the crayfish were to come along, play with the rig, it's gonna reset ready for the carp. Hook bait choice, I'm actually fishing an artificial double grain of maize with a little bit of foam in the middle just to add a little bit of buoyancy to pop up my size four crank. Now, I've caught loads of carp on spinner rigs and fake bait, so I'm full of confidence and I'm not changing my rig too much just because there's crayfish in the lake. Now, if I did want to opt for more of a boilie approach, you know, and I wanted boilie in my mix, I wanted boilie on my hair, I would definitely think about super wrapping it you're gonna get a lot more longevity out of your hook bait, but bearing in mind, if there are loads of crayfish in the lake, they can still get to your hook bait. So it's really worth bearing in mind how many crays are in the lake to distinguish what hook bait you're gonna choose. Through many hours of tinkering, I know that my artificial hook bait is balanced perfectly. But if you're in a situation where your pop-up or buoyant hook bait is far too buoyant, rather than using a tungsten putty that we know crayfish love, Try the new balancing weights, they are absolutely perfect and you'll be fishing a lot more effectively when crayfish are present. As I mentioned earlier on, I'm using a size 4 crank, but that is straight out of the packet, not a kamakuru. I love the kamakurus, they are super sharp, they definitely get you more bites, but with all the sort of little tweaks and the stuff we've made, there are still going to be crayfish milling around the area, potentially nicking my hook point and making it blunt. So straight out of packet is definitely a better option than a kamakuru if there's crayfish present. Now I've had a lovely session over here on Gordon's Lake. It is definitely a lake for the future. There'll be so many lovely carp in here in years to come. If you want more information, head over to the Embryo website. It's all on there for you to digest. And remember, if you have got crayfish in your lake, stick to the silk or silk weed, get on them plastic hook baits, get a bit of hemp and maize in your mix, and you'll be fishing a lot more effectively. Thank you.